already know that the lids on these are super cool, but did you know that the lid on a Parmesan container will fit onto a mason jar? When I found this out, I was blown away. So you can put sugar or any items in here, transfer your lid to your mason jar, and then you can just keep this in your pantry and then sprinkle out a little bit when you need it. Have you ever walked by these glass lampshades at the thrift store or at the restore and wondered, okay, what do I do with these? They're priced at only a dollar. I have an awesome upcycle in mind for these. I just have to pick out my favorite. I really like this one. I think this would be perfect, but there's so many other cool ones. Like that one's fun. These little ones are cute too. Ooh, what's this? Okay. This one, I think, would be perfect. Just watch me break in I thought this glass piece that went to a light fixture would be perfect as a modern succulent bowl. I love the shape of it, and actually I love the color of it, so I just cleaned it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to fill it with some soil. The other cool thing is it has holes on the bottom, so it already has drainage ready to go. Next, I bought some live succulents from Lowe's, and I'm going to add those into my container to make it look as full as possible. I think these look gorgeous sitting out on your kitchen table or they'd also be great in your living room. So I actually picked up another glass piece from a light fixture. I really like the texture on this piece. So I'm gonna be using a spray paint that I have that's kind of more transparent. It's actually a sea glass spray paint and it's in an aqua color and I love the transparency of it. I sprayed the back of the glass, let that completely dry, and then I flipped it to the other side and sprayed the top portion. Now these make great trinket trays. You can sit them out, put in decor, or put in useful items you have around your home. We all love the look of a fluffy throw pillow, but sometimes the inserts for throw pillows can be really expensive when you buy them online or at stores. So here is a hack. What you're going to do is buy just a regular pillow cover. Then to fill it, you are going to buy, wait for it, a standard pillowcase. You can buy these at Ikea, Walmart, Target for around four or five dollars. This is going to make your throw pillows look super full and it's gonna be really inexpensive. Make sure when you put your pillow in your insert that you just get it over to the corners really well. Because you're trying to put a rectangular pillow into a square, you're just gonna have to kind of shake it around quite a bit till you get it in there and it doesn't have any weird lumps. This next hack involves denture cleaners. So I buy a lot of glassware at the thrift store and it gets really dirty. Here's a simple way that you can clean your glassware and shine it up really pretty to use. This also works really well if you have glassware that has stains on it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your containers with water. So I'm gonna put in warm water. Now these were containers I recently picked up at the thrift store and they just need to be cleaned out. Then you're gonna take a denture cleaning tablet and you're gonna drop it into the glass. We're gonna let that soak for like three to five minutes and come back and see how well they're cleaned out. So the cleaner's been dissolving for about five minutes now, so I'm gonna rinse it out with a little bit of water. Then I'll use a microfiber towel to dry it and I'll show you how good they look. I think they look 
look great. They are sparkling, they are clean. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used denture cleaner to clean or remove stains from anything. I think they would be great for wine glasses or different glassware that's got stains on it. You know how people will freeze an entire water bottle, but the problem with that is it takes forever for it to melt and you can't drink out of it. So for this hack, what you're gonna do is you're going to fill up a water bottle about half the way full, turn it on its side, and you're gonna put that in your freezer. So last night I put this water bottle in my freezer. It was half full, I turned it on its side, and as you can see, half of the water bottle is full. Now I'm gonna fill up the other side with water. Now the cool thing is I can immediately drink the water. It's nice and cold. This would be great for lunch boxes, going on trips, and your ice is just going to continue to melt throughout the day. If you're like me, you may forget what paint color you paint certain rooms in your house, especially a year or two down the line. But let's say you want to touch up that paint. An easy way to remember your paint colors is to actually take off your light switch outlet. And a lot of times when you paint, those are already off. Use a Sharpie or a pen to write your paint color on the back of your wall plate outlets. That way, anytime you need to remember your paint colors, it's right there. Dollar Tree sells zip ties, and these are great for organizing all of those cords that we have in our life. At our office, we have several cords whenever we're live streaming, and they just get so tangly. So we decided to use these zip ties to try to organize them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap one of the zip ties around your cords horizontally. Then you're gonna come in with another zip tie, put that in vertically. This is gonna keep your cords nice and organized, and they're not gonna tangle up. This next hack is great for traveling. A lot of times I don't like to take my toiletries and put them in smaller containers. I usually just take these big ones, but I'm always nervous about them spilling or you know, just like dumping out into my luggage. So here's a hack. You want to take some cling wrap and you're just going to unscrew the tops of your containers. Then you're just gonna pull out a little bit of the cling wrap. You're gonna place it over your bottle and just kind of like push it around the edge. Then you're gonna screw your cap back on. So if for any reason it leaks, it's just an extra barrier to hopefully not get the liquid all over your luggage. I think the worst part about hard boiled eggs is actually peeling them. So I have an easy hack to peel your eggs. So after you're done cooking them and they're resting, you've put your water on them, they're draining in the sink, take a glass or any sort of jar, you're going to put an egg in there, shake it around a little bit, and then the egg is going to peel off perfectly. What are you doing over here? What's going on? All right, I found these ceramic tiles. These are a great find. I found these ceramic tiles. These are a great find at the ReStore. You can use them to make all different kinds of things like coasters, trays. I'm gonna show you how to use these because I think these are really unique. I was excited to find these white angled tiles at the ReStore. They were only 25 cents each. I'm gonna use them to create a tray that would be perfect for my kitchen or bathroom. I'm also going to be using some wood pieces that I had on hand from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put the two wood pieces at the bottom and then I'm going to add E6000 to my two wood pieces. Make sure you use quite a bit so everything holds really well in place. Then I'm just going to line up my tiles, making sure they're even all the way across the top. I love the fun, unique pattern that this created for the tray. I'm gonna let it sit completely overnight and then I can style it with items I have in my home.
Anytime I would travel, I used to avoid bringing like small necklaces like this because I felt like no matter what I did, they would always get tangled up in my jewelry bag and then it would take me hours to untangle them. So I have a hack if you want to travel with small necklaces. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unclasp them and then you need to get a straw. Just keep in mind, whatever straw you pick, your necklace has to be able to fit in here. So you're going to put one side of your necklace through your straw until it comes out the other side. And then you're just going to clasp your necklace back together. And no matter what you do, if you throw this into your suitcase, it's not gonna get tangled up. This hack is best for smaller necklaces because it's gonna have to be able to fit through your straw. You could always cut a straw in half if it was like a shorter necklace as well. This is an easy hack to keep your fruit cold at your next party. You're gonna need two of these disposable aluminum foil tins. Grab whatever fruit you want and we're gonna start by washing it all. Now to keep your fruit nice and cold all day, you're gonna fill the bottom tray with ice. If you're wondering why my ice is in these small little chips, I actually got an ice maker off of Amazon. It's amazing, I love it so much. I'll link it for you in the description box. So next you're gonna take your tray and put it on top of your ice. Then all you have to do is put your fruit on top. If you need to take it somewhere, you could even throw the lid on it. All right, Liz, for this next hack, we're gonna need rice. Okay a glass container, and then you're gonna need to go find a dull knife. Okay, let's see. This one doesn't work very well. All right, you're gonna pour the rice into the glass container. Okay. And then after you get that filled up, you're going to put your knife into the rice. It's supposed to sharpen your knife. How's it gonna do that? <laughs> I do not know if this is gonna work or not, but this is one of the suggestions. Okay, let's so try I'm it. interested to see. Okay, so I have my knife, and I know this is a dull knife in here. How long does it take to sharpen? Do we have to put it in and out? The comment didn't specify how long to put it in. It said to leave it in there, so I'm wondering okay. if it needs to be left there over time. Okay. Or if we can see a difference just by doing it a couple times. I'll try cutting something and see if I notice anything yet. Yeah, I think we should definitely do it a couple of times to see if it'll work. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off. <laughs> okay, let's see, because I know this knife is not... It actually worked. I'm telling you, I think this worked. Because this is like cutting it really well. I promise you this is not, wasn't very sharp. Okay, I think this rice hack worked. I honestly thought this one was gonna be a fail <laughs> out of all of the ones we've shown today. That's wild. You could get a bigger vase and put all your knives in there. I wanna share with you guys one of my secret home decor hacks that I use to find really high-end pieces on Amazon for super cheap. So I love to search on like Pottery Barn or CB2 or West Elm or Anthropology, and I'll find a style I like, screenshot that pictures. I found these dining room chairs that I loved off of Pottery Barn. So here's the steps you need to do to find them on Amazon. So you're going to open up the Amazon app on your phone. Then there's like a little square at the top in the search box. Click on that square, then you have the option to upload a photo. So you're just going to upload your screenshot that you just put in. Then you can click the button that says find style. And I'm telling you guys, so many popped up that are super affordable. I can get the exact same style, but for a fraction of the cost. Let me know if you guys have tried this hack in the comments. You may be looking at this little plastic thing thinking this could not be any sort of exciting hack, but I'm telling you, this is a game changer. So if you buy your laundry soap in these big containers, what you can use this for is you can put your laundry soap like this. If you're like my house, it always seems to drip out. But what you can do is you can just keep your cup underneath this little spout. That way it's there all the time. So you don't have to worry about any detergent leaking out. This is honestly the most genius hack. I will link it for you down in the description box. This is actually from Amazon. If you guys don't know already, I have a second channel and I'm posting new content all the time. It's called Lisbon McDaily. Go check it out, subscribe, you're gonna love it. 
This next hack is one that restaurants use to keep fingerprints off of stainless as well as keep them looking shiny and great. Baby oil. So we're gonna test this hack out on my stainless steel in my kitchen. We're gonna put a little bit of the baby oil on a paper towel and see if it shines my sink up. We're also gonna try it on some of my appliances. This definitely revived all of my stainless steel in my kitchen, so I think it's a hack worth trying. I left the restore, I'm over at Blessings Abound, which is a thrift store, and I'm in the candle section. I'm gonna grab one of these candle holders. I have the perfect hack for all of your brass candlesticks. These are great as paper towel holders. You can put them out in your kitchen, add your paper towels, and it only costs you a couple of dollars, or you may already have them on hand. Next hack is perfect for your kid's bathroom or a guest bathroom. So what you're going to need is some mouthwash, a soap container, and some small little plastic cups. I'm gonna take the lid off of the soap container and my mouthwash, and I'm gonna pour the mouthwash into the soap container. And then I'm gonna put the soap dispenser back on top. I'll set out my cups next to the soap dispenser. Then anytime you need mouthwash, all you have to do is fill up your cup. Have you guys seen those really expensive bamboo organizers for your Ziploc bags? They're really pretty, they look really nice. Well, I would love to have those, but I didn't want to spend the money on those. So the other day I was just scrolling on my phone and somehow, I guess because I love organization so much, this product came up in my feed and I immediately had to get it. It was super inexpensive. So this is a Target product. It's called a drawer organizer variety pack. It was $12.99 when I purchased it. So it opens up like this, but essentially it's the same thing as those expensive drawer organizers. You have your quart storage, quart freezer, sandwich snack, and gallon size bags. You just pull these little tabs out here. You can put it in your drawer and you have organized Ziploc storage. So love this. I will link to it down below. If you're going to be flying this summer, you're going to be bringing luggage, or maybe you're just traveling somewhere where you're going to have luggage, you need to make your luggage stand out so you can easily recognize it. Now you can put the little tags on there, but sometimes you don't see that. Another option you can try is just grab any kind of colorful duct tape. You're going to put it on the top of your luggage as well as the front. That way you can easily spot your luggage. And if you can get it in a bright color, even better. I love to pick up baskets and upcycle them. There's so many great uses for them. These are perfect in my bathroom. I can store towels in them, especially if you have a small bathroom. Now I found these baskets as well with these lids. They're really great for storing items. I'm gonna put these in my living room for additional storage. You can also use baskets like this to really elevate your plants. It provides a lot of texture at the bottom of your plants. In a previous hacks video, I showed you guys how you could find the start of your cape by putting a paper clip on the edge. And I got a ton of comments and suggestions in that video. So one person suggested to put a bread tab, which a lot of us have just sitting around our houses that we typically don't end up using, put a bread tab on the bottom of your tape. I think that's a great idea. Another idea we had from a couple of nurses, shout out to our nurse friends watching, they said, what they like to do with their tape is just fold the end over. That way you don't even need to have a paper clip or bread tap with you. I think all three are great options, just whatever works best for you. Next hack was definitely new to me and I would love to know if you guys knew about this hack. So this hack has to do with the ceiling fans in your home. Did you know that there is a switch on your ceiling fan where you can change it for summer or winter months? In the winter, you wanna put your switch on so it moves clockwise because that is going to move the hot air down. But in the summer, you want your fan going counterclockwise and that is going to push the cool air down. I had no idea about this. I switched all of my fans in my house so they are good to go for summer. If you 
have a small pantry or maybe a small kitchen with not a lot of cabinets, this is the item you need. This doesn't require any screws, anything to hold it on. All you have to do is slide this basket into your pantry on your cabinetry and it creates a whole nother shelf. It actually like doubles up your shelf space. I have several of these that I put all throughout my pantry. I have some out in my laundry room. These are awesome. I've been using them for years. Next up, we're going to create a tiered planter that's super easy to put together. So you're going to need two different planters, one that's a little bit wider and then one that's kind of normal size. These are both from Ikea. So I'm going to take both of the planters and with the smaller one, I'm going to E6000 it to the middle of the bowl. I'm gonna spray my planter with two coats. From there, you can add in rocks. You can also add in succulents and plants of your choice. I think this tiered tray is super elevated and a really inexpensive hack. Dawn Power Wash is all the rage. I'm gonna show you a hack how you can make your own. So you're going to need any sort of container to put it in. You're also going to need rubbing alcohol and some regular Dawn dish soap. So here's your recipe. You're going to fill your container with 1 4th Dawn dish soap, 1 4th of the rubbing alcohol, and then the rest you're going to put in water. You're gonna mix that all together and you can use it in your everyday cleaning. One of my favorite hacks is using inexpensive fabric and rugs to recover items in my home. This fabric is a nice home decor fabric, only $3. I don't know about you guys, but my girls love to play with slime and I let them play with slime in the house, but sometimes you may have a fabric and slime disaster. And that's what happened on this bench that I recovered. My daughter had gotten her slime on there and we weren't able to get it out. So I decided to recover it and to do it inexpensively, I found some fabric at the thrift store that I thought would work perfectly. Now, just to make it really easy to do, I'm going to use the existing foam piece that was already sitting out on my bench and I just cut my fabric down to size. I'm gonna wrap it on one edge and to make it even easier, I'm gonna hot glue it in place. I'll cut the other side and hot glue that. And then on the edges, I'm gonna cut off any excess and fold them over and hot glue them, kind of like I'm wrapping a package. And I'll do that on both sides. Make sure that it's pulled nice and tight before I'm hot gluing. It looks so much better and it only cost me a couple of dollars from Thrifted Fabric. Now you guys know if you've seen any of my fridge organization videos, I love a good container to go in the fridge or the pantry. These are awesome, they're clear acrylic. I love that they have a handle so you can easily pull them in and out. This is great for like quick on the go items that you need to get to quickly and you can really put anything in there and because they're clear, everyone in your house can see what's in the container. Totally recommend clear containers for the pantry and fridge. You guys are gonna love this next hack. So how many times have you pulled out your aluminum foil and this piece just comes out and it's just a mess and everything's all over the place? Well, I saw this hack on TikTok and I think it's pretty genius. So did you know that on the side of your aluminum foil, there's these little circles here that you can press in. So you just pop them in like this and it's gonna hold your aluminum foil in place. You can do it on that side and then you do it on this side as well. So just pop that in. Now, anytime you wanna pull out your aluminum foil, it's gonna stay in place. How genius is that? Let me know in the comments if you guys knew about this hack. 
I have the best $1.25 jewelry organization hack. So grab one of these in the craft section at Dollar Tree. They're perfect. You may be wondering like what to do with this. Well, whenever you're traveling, you can simply put your jewelry in each of the little compartments. It's perfect for rings. You can also put in earrings and everything is gonna stay nice and organized. This is one of my favorite pairs of earrings off of Amazon. I'll link those for you as well. Make sure you try this hack on your next trip. Our next hack is how to keep your paint fresh using saran wrap. Now I have actually done this hack in another video, but it's a great idea. So what you wanna do is pull off some saran wrap and when you're getting ready to close up your paint can, you're gonna put the saran wrap over the top of your paint can. Then you'll put the lid on top and close it up like you normally would. It's gonna make it a lot easier to open it the next time you go to use your paint. I saw this next hack on Pinterest and I'm not sure if it works, so we're gonna try it out together. What you're going to need is a candle with three wicks. Now the hack is if you light one of the wicks, you can move the flame around to light all three. So let's try it out. Okay, so I have my first wick lit. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. That was a little scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move the flame to try to light. Uh, go light it. I'm gonna put the candle lid underneath because I'm so worried about this wax falling out. Okay, that one's, oh, that one's going. Oh, it did it. Oh, it worked on that one. That worked really well, although I will say I got wax along the edge. So maybe you need to just let it sit for a minute and let the flame get a little bit bigger and then you can light all three sides. So I think a tip for the candle hack is make sure you light one of the candles, wait about 30 seconds before turning it to light the others. But now that I think about it, it would take me less than 30 seconds to just light all of them. So I don't know if that hack's worth doing. Let me know if you've ever tried this and if this hack would work for you. So this next hack came about because I have two keys that are similar and I try putting labels on the front of them to say, this is what this one's for, this is what this one's for. But after time using them, the labels have come off. So I never know which one to use. So for this hack, I'm going to use two different colors of nail polish. So each of my keys is going to have its own nail polish color. That way I know exactly which key is for what. Here's a really inexpensive way to clean your baseboard. So you wanna pick up a Dollar Tree broom. Now this actually comes in two pieces. If you buy this part and the base, it's gonna be $2.50. You can also get other bases for your broom as well. And the other thing you're going to need to grab is this Dollar Tree white towel. I'm gonna to take the towel, wrap it around my broom, and I'll secure it with a rubber band. Next, you can use the broom to just easily clean your baseboard. If you wanna add cleaner, you can do that as well. When you're done, all you have to do is throw this towel in the washing machine, and it's a really easy way to get your baseboards clean and super inexpensive. This is the coolest organization hack to store trash bags under your sink. So I found this container. Again, I'll link them for you down in the description box, but it's a collapsible container. So what you need for this is to make sure you have a container that has a little opening on the front of it. So with this container, I'm just gonna pop it open. Then these little side pieces right here, I'm just gonna pull them down and lock them in place. I'm gonna grab my trash bags and just set them inside. Now, you're just going to take the end of your trash bags and feed it through the opening. Then I'll just place the lid on top. Now, look how organized this is. It can sit underneath your sink. You can stack things on top and anytime you need a trash bag, you just pull it out. Just pull it off like that. How easy is that? And this is gonna look so nice underneath my sink. So 
So I have a DIY hack for you guys. If you're hanging a picture on the wall, you know sometimes you have to like put your hammer down and like fish around for your nails. Well, here's a little hack to make sure you always have your nails with your hammer. So you're gonna get a circular magnet. I'll link to the ones down in the description box that I'm using, and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of my hammer. going to add some nails to the bottom of this magnet. Now when I go to hang something on the wall, I can have my hammer in one hand and just pull a nail off. You have the problem where sometimes the suction cups will slip down and you have to like restick it. Here's a hack I found to keep these suction cups stuck to your sink. You actually wanna use Vaseline. So you're gonna put a small amount of Vaseline on the back of the suction cups, then just stick it inside of your sink and it's supposed to hold it there so much better. If you have one of these orange juice containers, don't throw it out. You could actually use these to create little watering cans to water your plants. It's really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to put it together. So you're going to need a drill for this and put a drill bit on your drill. The size really depends on how big you want the holes to be in the top of your lid. So what I'm gonna do is if you unscrew the lid, you can kind of see where the openings are. So I'm gonna put a few holes right here in the center portion where the S is. Now I'm just gonna brush off this extra right here. So now I have a watering can that I can store underneath my kitchen sink. Let me show you how I water my plants with this. This is definitely one of my favorite hacks. I love how compact it is. A lot of times watering cans can be really big and bulky. So I love this idea, plus you recycle a container. We have a Band-Aid hack. This is really cool. If you get a cut on your finger, this is a hack you wanna try. So take your Band-Aid and get some scissors. You're gonna cut the Band-Aid up until you get to the pad area. Then if you have a cut anywhere on your finger or your knuckle, you can put the pad portion over the cut then take off one side and then you're going to wrap it around your knuckle and then since you created that slit you're still able to bend your finger these little sponge holders at Dollar Tree have so many uses for them. You can put them in your fridge to hold like tiny little sauce packets. You can also hold your cheese. It just makes another organizer either on your door or inside your fridge. You can also use them in your bathroom to store smaller items. You can use them as a phone holder as well. Much as I like buying my organization at Dollar Tree, the thrift store is a great option. I mean, look at this brand new organization for a dollar. This is a Target organizer, so it's a great place to get some good deals. I use this bead organizer to add in my washi tape at the office. Next hack I found really interesting. So someone suggested whenever you need to touch up paint on your walls, take a little bit of your paint and add in some water and it's supposed to help your paint blend in a little bit better when you're touching it up on the walls. So this is the accent wall paint for my bedroom upstairs. So we're gonna go try it out. I definitely think if your paint is older or a little bit on the drier side, this is a good hack to kind of refresh it to do your touch up. I'm at the ReStore, one of my favorite thrift stores for building supplies. And one of my favorite hacks is getting knobs and pulls. You can get them really inexpensively. These ones that I found, these black ones, I'm gonna get for just 50 cents. They come with all of the hardware. 
this one is also a really cool tile. It's unique, but I think it would make a fun tray. I'm also gonna use some of these knobs to add to my ceramic piece here. So the next tile tray that I'm gonna create is perfect to create risers with your decor. It just adds a little bit of dimension in your decor. So I love pieces like this. Again, this tile was only 25 cents. This is really easy. It's gonna take you five minutes to put together. I'm gonna E6000 the knobs to the bottom of my tray. Once those have a chance to set up and dry, I'm gonna add some black Waverly ink paint around the edge. I only wanted it on the edge, and I felt like this really just kind of finished off the tile. Once that dried, I added in my own decor, but this was super inexpensive, and I love how unique it is. is a really cool safety tip. When you're nailing a nail into the wall, have you ever slipped and actually hit the hammer on your finger? It does not feel good. What you can do instead is get some chopsticks. Now with your chopsticks, you're gonna leave them together. Then you're just going to slip your nail into the center of your chopsticks. That way, when you're nailing it on the wall, you can keep your fingers at a safe distance while you put it in the wall. And then once the nail's in there, you just slide the chopsticks right off. Now let me know if you guys can relate to this. So before my pans in my cabinet were all over the place. I couldn't figure out how to stack them and when someone took out one, they just kind of went all over the place. I found this pan organizer and it's really changed things for me in my cabinet. I just set it sideways. You can also set it like this, but my cabinet's not tall enough, so I set it sideways and I can put at least four pans in here. It works great. My family follows it. They know exactly where to put the pans after they've been washed. So if you have a crazy cabinet with pans everywhere, try this to organize them. You can also use this for lids as well. Now that the weather is getting colder, I really like this next hack. This is for ice melt. Now, if you live in a colder climate like I do, and you don't wanna be lugging around this big container of ice melt, what you can do is reuse a Parmesan cheese container, put your ice melt in here, and when it's gonna be icy or cold out, you can just sprinkle this onto your steps or walkway, and it's a lot easier to carry around. So I have my ice melt. Let's see how good it pours out. Oh, pretty good. That surprisingly works really well. So a great option for the fall going into the winter. I'm gonna show you guys a simple vase hack using a toothbrush holder. You can buy these at Dollar Tree. You can also pick them up at the thrift store. I thought this one was really cute, so we're gonna use it for this hack. The cool thing about a toothbrush holder is it has holes to put in your stems. So I have these stems that I picked up from Walmart. You can use anything for this. And you're just gonna use the holes in the toothbrush holder to place in your stems. This is going to keep them upright and also nice and divided. You can put all your stems in there and then go back in and fluff them out so they make a nice arrangement. I think this is one of the coolest hacks I've seen in a while. Here is a trash can hack that I think works really well in your bathroom. If you've ever worried about your trash can smelling, you wanna get some essential oils. You can use any that you like. This set I have linked down below. This has lasted me forever. So you want to pick out your favorite scent. I'm actually going to use the lemon and then you also need a cotton ball. You could probably use like anything, like a cotton pad as well. And I'm just gonna put a few drops of the essential oil onto my cotton ball. And then all you have to do is put this at the bottom of your trash can, and then you'll put your bag on top. This is gonna help your trash stay smelling fresh. This next hack is 
a really cool way to get your flour into your bowl. So you're going to need a whisk, which is probably what you're gonna be using to mix everything up anyways. So you're gonna take your whisk and stick it straight down into your flour. What this is going to do is actually load the flour up into your whisk so that when you pull it out, you have a bunch of flour and you can just put it into your bowl. Let's try that again. This is definitely a no mess way to transfer your flour to your bowl. If you guys have kids or grandkids who are obsessed with poppets like my kids are, here is a really fun snack you have to try for them. So what you're gonna need is a poppet. You're also going to need some blueberries or any other fruit, but blueberries will probably work the best, and then any kind of yogurt that you wanna use. So I'm gonna start by putting the blueberries in each of the poppet holes. Make sure that you have them popped all down the same way. Next, you're gonna take your yogurt and just spread it across the top. Now I'm just going to take this, pop it in the freezer until it sets up and it's completely frozen. One of my favorite kitchen hacks is hanging up my oven mitts. I love to put a command strip on the back of my cabinet. I've done this for years. And then most oven mitts come with a little handle on it. You can hang them on there. That way you don't have to waste any space in your drawers. This hack is great for if you want your house to smell really good, but maybe you're not cooking something that smells really good and you're having people over or you just want it to smell good for you. You need an oven safe bowl or you can use a mug, anything that'll work in the oven. And then you wanna use vanilla extract. I'm gonna put two capfuls of the vanilla extract into my bowl. You're gonna bake it in the oven for 300 degrees for about an hour before you have people coming over and it's gonna smell so good. You can grab this vanilla extract at Dollar Tree. I have this problem with, I never know exactly how to store my curling iron and hair dryer. I feel like the solutions I use just don't work out really well. Well, I found this new solution that I think is gonna be awesome. So if you have that same problem, try these out. So I found these clear plastic containers that are actually larger than what I normally would use. But because they're larger, the curling irons and your blow dryer just sit in here really nicely. So I put these underneath my sink and I can pull them out and they stay really organized. So I I think this is a great solution for underneath your sink. I don't know about you guys, but it takes me forever to go through a bag of lemons. So if I buy them at the store and I want them to last for months, I don't wanna store them like this. Let me show you the hack for how you should be storing your lemons in the fridge. So grab a jar that has a lid. This one is pretty inexpensive from Ikea. And then all you're gonna do is place your lemons inside. Next, you're just going to fill it with water up until all the lemons are covered. Now you can just store your lemons like this in the fridge and they'll last for months. If in your house or your kid's room, you have an excess amount of stuffed animals, pillows, blankets, and you need somewhere to store them, that's actually functional. I found this hack and it's a bean bag hack. So I picked up this large bean bag off of Amazon that you can just fill up with things you have around your house. So I'm gonna show you how you can fill it up with pillows, but if your kids have a ton of stuffed animals, you can put those in here as well. We would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every house. literally fit every single pillow in my living room and blanket. So I'm just gonna zip it up. So I'm gonna flip it back here. Now you have a fun 
beanbag chair that you can sit in. This would be perfect for your kids' room, basement, and you're storing all that stuff that was just sitting out or maybe in a drawer taking up a lot of room. So for only $1.25, you can grab this shower caddy at Dollar Tree. This is gonna make a great mail and key organizer for your kitchen. So I'm gonna bend each of the shelves up so they're at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna be great for storing mail or any papers that you wanna store in here. You can hang it on anything that's magnetic, like your fridge, or you could do it on your washer and dryer. I love these little magnetic hooks. I bought them in a pack off of Amazon. They work so well and they hold Hold quite a bit of weight. I'm gonna hang this up on my fridge. I can store any mail that comes in as well as keys or my AirPods. Now, if your shower caddy kind of wobbles around, you can grab these at Dollar Tree as well. They're just the little clips with the magnets on the back. And then I'm gonna put those on the edges. So there's no need to buy a fancy trash can for your car. I think one of the best options is to get one of these style containers. This one's actually from Ikea. You can buy them at Dollar Tree as well. You want a container that has one of these flip top lids on one side. So with this container, all I'm going to do is get a small trash bag and I'm gonna put it into my container. Then I'll just pull the outside. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna take the trash can, put it around the top, and then put the lid back on. You can put this in your car. Anytime you have any trash, you just throw it in there. If you don't have a fancy bag like this, you could always use a Dollar Tree sack as well. Put a few of your Dollar Tree sacks at the bottom. That way you always have a trash can and just pull it out whenever it gets full. You're not using Lazy Susans to organize your house. You're missing out. And I find that some of the best prices for these are at Walmart. I love using these in my pantry, but they're also great for your bathroom. You can use them to organize your skincare, hair care products. Really, the possibilities are endless. I feel like in all of my rooms, I have a bunch of extra pillows and blankets. So I like to have a basket or something to put those items in. So in my living room, I grabbed this rattan basket. It's by Better Homes and Gardens. It's gorgeous. This is gonna sit in my living room. I can throw extra throw blankets in it. If the kids wanna throw the pillows off the couch, we have a place to put them that's not on the ground. A gym. <laughs> Next hack I saw on TikTok, I'm not really sure if it's gonna work, but I can't wait to try it out. Now for this hack, you're gonna need any jar in your kitchen. I had this one. I just washed it out really quick. The first thing you're gonna do is just remove the label. All right, now this back label is a little bit harder to remove, so I'm gonna run some hot water on it just to kind of loosen up the glue underneath. Now here's where the actual hack comes in. Once you get the labels off the jar, a lot of times you're left with all that sticky residue on the front and the back. So you're going to need to get any kind of nail varnish and some cotton balls. And you're just gonna use that to take off the rest of the sticky residue. So it definitely works on that front label. Now I'm gonna try this back one that kind of looks crazy. Okay, so this side definitely doesn't want to come off as easily, but I do feel like it's removing it. It just takes a little bit of scrubbing on it. All right, I'm gonna get some more nail polish remover. It definitely is working. 
Now, it did take a little bit of scrubbing to get that white label off, first the one on the front. From there, you can rinse them out, you can use them to store items, you can also use them to display flowers, or really just a bunch of different things around your house. I know there's products out there that take off labels, but this is typically something you have around your house. So if you're in a pinch, try it. Now to style this jar, I have some florals from Dollar Tree. I just bought these this spring, so you can still pick them up. I also found these lentils in my pantry. So I'm gonna use these kind of as like a rock base, and I'm just gonna pour them at the bottom of my jar. I'm trying to use things that are around my house. I literally just went and grabbed these. Okay, so next I'm gonna put in the florals. Now with Dollar Tree florals and any florals, just kind of spread them out a little bit before you start sticking them in. That way they look fuller. Okay, so looking at this, I don't really like that you can see the stems. You guys will have to let me know if I should have left it this way, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put some more items I had in my pantry. I think this is quinoa. And I'm just going to put a layer of this on top of my lentils. Then it's going to disguise my stems whenever I put them back in. All right, let me show you how I style this in my living room. 